Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. If you're not already aware, Zoho has increased their pricing. So this is going to be a short little video on what to expect depending on which category you fall into. Now, if you have just started to evaluate Zoho prior to April 5th, then you have until April 30th to actually commit to some sort of subscription, whether that's a monthly or annual subscription. And they will still honor the, the old pricing model. But if you decide to purchase after April 30th, then you will be on the new pricing model. So keep that in the back of your mind as you're evaluating. You still have plenty of time, but just make sure that you, you get it in before April 30th. Now, for those new customers who are purchasing after April 5th, so you unfortunately will be getting the new pricing model and there's no way to get the old pricing model. Um, so please double check what the pricing is if you've been evaluating prior to this. Um, look at the products you're interested in. I know we deal with a lot of Zoho One, so that is zoho.com slash one slash pricing if you wanna check out what that is. Um, obviously each of the other pricing pages for the different tools have been updated as well. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing for those existing customers. You have you will be you will be increased in your pricing up to a maximum of fifteen percent. So that means if you're currently paying a hundred dollars a month and you your the new pricing model makes it go to let's say one hundred and fifty, you will actually only be increased to one hundred and fifteen. So that's not a bad deal. Um, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Zoho has done a lot of work on the back end to work with their partners and make sure it's fair for everyone. So you will only increase up to 15% maximum of what you're currently paying. Um, now this new payment will come into effect on your next uh, renewal or January 17th, 2022. So that means if your, you know, your next renewal comes up is, is February, let's say February, 2022, um, you will be charged the new fees starting January 17th, 2022. However, if you are, if your renewal comes in, let's say September 2020, 2021, you will then be charged starting September 2021 for the new charges, only a maximum of 15% of what you're currently paying though. So please keep that in mind and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email at casey at clientric.co if you'd like uh, more of an in-depth explanation here. Please let us know how we can help and look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.